Hi, Jen. How are you? Hi, Terry. It's so thank you so much for having me on your show. I'm so glad. Welcome to Terry's Courage Talks. And I'm excited to tell the audience a little bit more about you. And uh, let's talk about courage today in your profession and in your life. And um, it'll be a fun conversation. So tell the audience just a little bit more about you. Okay. And what you do. Yep. So I'm Jen Boyd and my company is Elements of Harmony. And I specialize in helping homeowners create a balanced and harmonious home environment uh, with feng shui. So I have an online program um, that really helps them align, design, and optimize the energy in their home and their life. I love this. And you know that I don't know that much about feng shui. I've, I've, I've heard it for years and years and years. And, and tell the, I'm sure there's a lot of people that have heard about it, but how it aligns to their whole life, I think is interesting. So tell them a little bit how that works. And then let's get into the courage part in a few minutes. But I think it's interesting. I'd like to learn a little bit more about how feng shui not only can change your environment around you and that you live, but your life. Right. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll give the brief synopsis of, I actually found feng shui out of my own need because my life, um, you know, in 2001, I was at a, um, corporate America job, worked for a fortune 500 company in Atlanta. And on paper, my life looked great. You know what I mean? Great job going right up the ladder, but inside I knew something wasn't quite right. And so I started reading feng shui books. I started reorganizing my space, um, adding intention, letting go of things that were no longer my story. I started working with the five elements. And um, at the time, like I got like a raise, I got a promotion. I saw my, my, uh, relationships improve. And most importantly, I felt more grounded and centered within myself. Incredible. So it's about energy. And I, I kind of relate to this and how some things in your house or things that are around you feel heavy instead of light and, and expanding your space and energy around you. So I know that that does play a role in how you feel, but I, I love um, hearing about this. So let's, let's dive into the courage part. And then of course, in the end, we'll, we'll make sure that we post all your information so that people that who are interested can get a hold of you. But knowing a little bit about your story, which you just talked about, you left a, an incredible job that you had, it was a corporate life and you started your own business. So in a new moment in time, I'm gonna ask you the first question. So Jen, do you see yourself as courageous? You know, when you're doing it, you don't. You know what I mean? Like when you're making decisions, when you're flying by the seat of your pants, when you're going, this doesn't feel right, I'm gonna go do this. You're not thinking I'm courageous, but when I stop and look at some of the drastic changes that I've made, yeah, I would say that there's, it, it definitely took some, some courage to, 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 to make some changes for sure. Yes. And I, I would, I would think that changing your career completely and being an entrepreneur and, and doing your own thing would take a lot of courage. I'm glad that you saw that in yourself, or at least in this moment, maybe you have now a word that you can identify with. And in the future, going forward, are there things that you would like to do that would require you to choose courage over fear or doubt? Oh, absolutely. I deal with it every day as an entrepreneur. And, um, you know, there's two things for me that are really big. It's like, as my business grows, I mean, it requires a lot of visibil visibility, you know what I mean? Doing things like this, you know, having a YouTube channel, doing a Facebook group, doing lives, you put yourself out there. And every time the camera goes on, you're like, okay, every, every time you talk to a client, every time, you know, that is like stepping into it. Right. You know, I mean, you have to, cause otherwise you can go, well, Maybe I just won't do that. And you can, and the fear, you have to get over that. Um, the other thing is, you know, that I own a horse and I had a couple bad fall offs in the past. And yes. now I'm facing my fears right now and working with a great trainer to get back on and like get my seat back and get my confidence back. And it's, it, it takes a minute, you know what I mean? Those fears come up and you go, well, maybe I, I just won't ride today or I won't do it. You know what I mean? And so, yeah, I think fear and like figuring out how to really tap into 
uh, I don't courage and the energy that's within you that is what is it like the inner the inner being that we all have is really you know connecting with that energy instead of the noise and the fear beautifully stated and i love the horse metaphor be, which is real for you but it's like getting back on that that horse and riding instead of never getting back on and i also love what you were talking about trusting the your essence your being versus the thoughts in your head that are the ones that remind you of the past and they're not in the present that tell you, no, no, this has happened in the past. Do not get on that horse again. <laughs> You're going to get kicked off or have an accident. And these are the things that we all face every day, especially if you are learning something new or going beyond your comfort zone or going into the unknown. And like entrepreneurs are famous for this. Yeah. You, you learn as you go along and, and trying to figure it out. And it can be really uncomfortable. But just think about how you're going to feel after you push past that fear with your horse and know that you, you've gotten past that and, and you're comfortable again and you can trust it again. Gosh, I hope so. I keep watching all my <laughs> old videos from a few years ago where I would, you know, haul butt around the arena and didn't even think about it. So I'm like, okay, it's in there, you know, yes. just get in there. And yeah, being an entrepreneur, feeling it every day. It's like, you know, it's like the ups and downs, but it's so exciting. And then, and now it's like, I've been doing it for long enough. And, you know, I launched my program last year and really seeing my clients light up. That's the biggest, that's the biggest joy. And then the fear is like, you know, when, when someone says they're not ready for the program, it's so disappointing because you're like, oh, but I know so many other people that are in my program that have stepped into it that I can help. You know what I mean? And so then that helps the fear, like, you know, is the program right or does it help or whatever? That fear gets quieter because I've got, you know, you've, st you've stepped into your courage enough and enough around enough times in a row where it's like, no, it's there. Yes, this is good. You know, no one's ever brought this up before and I love it. I think that if you are, have a goal or a passion or uh, an idea, like a dream or a business that you want to do, and you start facing those fears, if you step into the joy or the reason or the why, the big why of why you're doing it, it almost dissolves the fear. Like seeing that client smile and be happy and Thank you. And, and the same thing has happened to me with my coaching clients. There's, there's nothing more, more rewarding than when you're doing what you love and then you see that it's impacting others. And that does help dissolve the fear. I think it's a great way to go about it. Yeah. And I, how about you? Do you find like the more you're in, the, like when I'm not like in the moment of doing stuff, that's when all like the noise happens. And as soon as I get in the moment and get busy doing what I need to be doing, all that stuff gets completely silent. Do you find that? Yes. Yes. It's when you're, when you start focusing in the future too much or what the, what ifs, the big, what ifs <laughs> that start, you know, taking over your, your thinking and your brain. Uh, but when you're in the moment and you're really doing what you love, you're not thinking about the what ifs and the fear. Right. Beautiful. So a lot of takeaways from this conversation today. I love it. And I, I hope that everyone listening um, can glean something from this in your own life, what, you know, no matter what you're doing. But for us to grow, we have to have courage to go beyond what we think we can go beyond and follow our dreams, follow our passions, follow the things that are important to us. And that's what Jen has been doing and living in her, her new career. Um, and what is your title actually as a feng shui consultant feng shui specialist consultant. or? Yeah, feng shui consultant. I mean, and, and the business to be quite, you know, transparent was a side hustle for many years. Like I've been a feng shui consultant. I, I went to feng shui school in 2003 and it was, it was like a side hustle. It was like a passion. It was a joy. You know what I mean? It was something yeah. that I was trying to figure out. I always knew something was there and you know, and then I just stayed in my corporate job or sales or, you know what I mean, doing whatever. And then, um, yeah. And then in my last marketing director job, we were actually selling an on, I was um, marketing an online program. And I thought to myself, okay, 
I'm doing this for someone else and I'm doing the whole marketing plan and everything, I could do this with feng shui. How fun, how incredible. That was almost like an aha moment that you oh, had. No, it was a huge aha. And, 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 and then Leah, it was like the moment where I was like, well, wait a minute. Okay, so I just need to learn the, the bits and pieces of how to actually run the business part of it, which, you know, um, that's come to. But that was the whole impetus where I was like, wait a minute, like I, I could do this. Mm -hmm. I, I have a great idea. You know what I mean? Like people need feng shui. People need to learn about energy and an online program that is also supplemented with a lot of one-to-one. So my clients actually get much more this way. And so, yeah, but it was that courage piece of going, mm, I should be doing something else. And you followed it and you followed it. And, and a lot of people let the fear and doubt get in the way of following that, that moment of like, this is what I really want to do and I can do it. Or the belief, like you said, you had to believe in yourself and you did. Yeah, and it hasn't been the easiest road. I mean, it's, you know what I mean? There have been some, you know, and then you have to learn a lot. Well, you know, I mean, technology, like anybody that's living in the digital world today, like yes. learning technology. Yes. You have to do it. And, and you know, and, and I resisted it as well. <laughs> I'm like, nope, this is what I need to do. And I have to get out in front of it and learn it. But once you learn it, you feel very, you know, it wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. And you can find people to help you. So whatever it is you want to do, it's really, you know, just don't get too far ahead of yourself and, and believe you can do it. And then take one challenge after the other and just keep going and not give up. I mean, that's what I have seen with so many people that I work with. And I've also seen that with you. And I'd love for you to share with the audience a little bit more about what you would suggest uh, for them to do on not giving up on their, uh, their dream or their business that ideas that they have kind of from your own experience and then how they can get a hold of you. Okay, great. So yeah, I think it just, um, in terms of, it's like stepping into it. It's, it's making a decision, mm. you know, cause once you decide, don't look back. Like it's like decide. And then like, what's the next step, you know, like you were saying, um, and don't give up. Believe me, there have been many moments where I'm like, should I not do the business? Should I sell the horse? I mean, I, those are, those are real life thoughts. And it's just like, I can't do that. Like there's some, there's something so beautiful happening that is like, and then, and then, and then when you get to the step where it really starts to happen, then you're like, then the, the joy of the whole thing rushes through. So stay with it. I would say, make a decision and stick with it. That would be one thing. And then to get in touch with me. Um, so a couple ways, uh, so I have, um, you can go to my website, elementsofharmony.com, and there is a lot of information there. Um, I also have a free training video on feng shui. It's about 30 minutes and it's free. You can download it there. Um, as well as I've got a, um, a free feng shui group, um, Facebook group that I post um, a lot of videos, a lot of free content, and it's a great way to interact with me personally, as well as um, interact with the community. So, um, and again, you can get my free training there as well. And we can post that link. Wow. So, that's wonderful. Yeah. Those Perfect. Are the yeah. Yes. Okay. So, and there, there is on your website and, and what is your website? Elements of harmony.com. Perfect. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, and you have so much that you can offer our audience. I'm so excited. And I really appreciate you sharing your story and your business and your journey of, of, jumping off and being your own entrepreneurial, you know, in your own business. That's, that's a lot and how you've shown courage in your life personally and in your business. So I think we can all learn a lot from this conversation. So I really appreciate you um, sharing with me all, all your tips and, and wisdom today. Thank you so much, Terry. And, you know, you're just, you're like a guiding light for all of us. I love, uh -oh. uh, you know, courage is one of those things that needs to be talked about more and you've, you've done it. And thank you. Thank you, Jen. I really appreciate it. We're in this together. And so we, we need each other to, to, to get through this life and to really fulfill our potential. So I appreciate you. And thanks for those beautiful words. All right, go out there and um, find your courage and um, 
make sure that you post um, what you're learning from our interview today. All right. Thanks, Jen. Have a great day. Appreciate it. Okay. Bye-bye.